Our Fly on the Wall series is a very special set of lessons that we have here, of course, at Totally Guitars. And uh, every once in a while, one of our target members or a long-term subscriber to Totally Guitars can uh, squeeze a trip in here to, as part of their vacation or swinging out to the West Coast or something, and uh, spend a little time here with generally show up with a lot of questions that they'd like to like to go over and stuff. So I uh, had the, the pleasure of meeting our longtime student Beaker, who came down from uh, British Columbia to ask me a bunch of questions, had a bunch of stuff he wanted to go over, and uh, we had a series of lessons over a week that, that covered a lot of different things. And in our first one, this is uh, going to hear some excerpts from our first one that mostly got, uh, we got to know each other a little bit and then uh, went into a lot of theory stuff. Ended up talking a lot about scales, chords, chord progressions, a few songs in particular, looked at a Dylan song, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue, How Jerry Garcia, or his take on it, and uh, anyway, these lessons all go up for all of our members to enjoy and also learn from. So just wanted to give you a little taste here of our fly on the wall lesson where Beaker came in and we talked about these things. So here's, here's a little bit of some of our exchanges, but this turned into, uh, it's broken up into about four parts, all 15 to 20 minutes long. So it's a very, very uh, comprehensive and extensive lesson. Anyway, here are a few parts, and uh, if, you, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to come check out some of the other things that we have at Totally Guitars. Well, I got what you like to do. What you, you know, I know you're into the country blues stuff and stuff. And yeah, pretty cool that you got uh, to do the Fur Peace Ranch thing. Yeah, that was so fun. Actually, I wonder if I, I brought a list of songs. Sure. And uh, I got these books. Here's, here's yeah, what my friends, friends and I, my friends and I, I made a uh, content. So this oh. is our jam list. What I, I'm, I, I think it might not be very good time effective wise to learn a song from you. Probably I'd not. I'd rather expand on what I know. Yeah. And. Maybe look into modes, okay. like playing leads. I like saw that we, in your message, yeah. We do a lot of dead tunes, mm -hmm. so I'd like to do some tunes that change modes. Yeah. And knowing, like kind of like in that China Cat lesson. Yeah, I, I see that through on your list. I, uh, yeah, that's a, that's so a great we, yeah, we've already been diving into that. Mm -hmm. and uh, But i got some other ones like Music Never Stopped, and it seems kind of complicated, and Bird Songs are one of my favorite songs. Okay. I don't know what modes would go into that. Yeah, I'll have to listen, listen to some of them and see. See if it's a. Yeah, I'll a go get my other list because I took some notes of some other songs. Okay. Just so, and then if something grabs your eye, that you, you got might. a lot of songs here. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> These songs that they were doing on that hundred years in that '72 tour are just some of my favorites. You know, I see Me you got too. brown eyed girl and brown eyed women in here. I mean, yeah. Well, I, so this is some notes I made of some other songs that I'm interested in. Okay. Yeah, I got the whole Europe '72 complete, everything. Uh huh. Yeah. It, it's like so much music, but it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, wow. yeah, I think modes are, modes are interesting to me. Um, Big Rail or Blues, you know, Big Rail or Blues? Uh, yeah, uh, vaguely. I learned okay. that riff recently, and so I've been working on that, and I thought you might have some tips on how to, basically I want to expand my songs, expand my lead playing, but then my other side of my playing is the finger picking side. Like I'm into Yarma stuff. Uh -huh. It's almost like two separate categories of style of playing, but I'm into both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I always, I always I like that stuff too. I mean, from the first time I heard, um, probably that first Hot Tune album was one of the first times I heard any of that kind of stuff when it came out in 1970 or 71 or, yeah. or something. You know, I was hanging with some guys who were a couple years older and were way into it. They were in college. I was still in high school or something, and, I, yeah. and they had this record on. I thought, man, that is some of the neatest things I've ever heard. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's just oh, yeah, I know. I so it. cool. Um, and uh, well, how was your trip? I mean, relax for a second first. Just okay. like we don't put some water down there. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not really pressed for time. I I, I got uh, I got stuff taken care of for okay. uh, one of my main questions. Mind if I go Good, no, that's question? that's actually where I'd rather go. Is, is you yeah. know what do you, what, what do you want to do? Well, we play all of it now, baby blue, and we've been looking at the chords in the key. I've been studying that, okay. and then we've been trying to figure it out. Okay. And I I used to think it was just in A because it starts in on an A, but now I realize that's the five chord. Okay. And it's maybe more in D yeah. with the five chord being A and sure. it comes in on the vocal line with the five chord like yeah. I'm talking about Jerry Garcia's way okay. of playing it. Okay. You must leave out to the little and right, walk little, down little stuff. connections and stuff. Everything makes sense for it to be in the key of D, except for then in the climax part of the verse where 
he goes to F sharp and it's major. Yeah. And so I don't understand how that fits in okay. with chords in the key. Good. I guess that. Okay. Um, so what, um, how is their version different from Bob's? Oh, Jerry fully rearranged. Well, okay. It's, I mean, it's, it's in a different key. It's a different key, but, it's, it's, but the chord progression is probably not that different, it's, is it? It's, it's a little different. Wait, it's wait, a, it's run like, through the whole thing once. Let me, let me get well, it. Jerry, I, Jerry has this little lick. I'll just jump into it. That's fine. Okay, so that whole thing was revolving around D. Sings Dylan. The um, the chords D, G, and A are obviously from the key of D, yeah. D major, right? Yeah. And when something's in a mode, it really just means you're using chords from a major key. You're in some key, some major key, but chord one is not the tonic. In other words, you're focusing, you're centered around a different chord. Like in Me, this one, centered around well, A? Well, I'm not sure this one's centered around A just because okay. it starts on A. Because when he finishes it, it always ends on D. Yeah. So it's, so D is still, when you're on A, it never feels like it's finished. Like it doesn't feel like you can stop on A, mm -hmm. right? So even though it's starting on A, it's, it's still just straight in the key of D. This is not in a mode. Yeah. Um, or, and, now, if it were, um, if it kept coming back to A, a song like maybe, I'm just going to make one up, I can't even think about more off the top of my head, but if you were to A's and G's back and forth a lot, two major chords a whole step apart mean their chords four and five in whatever major key they're in. Okay. Right, so if you heard this. You might even hear something like this. Kind of like like tango up in blue. I, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. And so I, I threw a quick D in there. But it, it, hung, it came back to A and it, and it stayed there like it's going to finish on A. It's yeah. not going to finish. Yeah. It's like that's going somewhere else. Okay. So in that case, we're hearing those same three chords, A, G, and D, but A is now the tonic. Oh. Now it's in a mode. It's in the mode that has the fifth step of the major scale as the as one. Ah. You with me there? Yes. Okay. Do you know which mode that is? Uh, no. What, oh wait. Uh, I do. That is. That's Mixolydian. Good way to go. Okay. Good. There really are only two that are commonly used, other than major and minor, and so those yeah. two are the ones you want to be on top of. So if it's revolving around chord one in a major key, it's just in the major key, and that's the Ionian mode. We don't even care about the the, Ionian, the word doesn't even mean much because we use that's major. Yeah. And if it's revolving around, if it's in the minor key, it's revolving around chord six, yeah. right? And, and that, that's the Aeolian mode, same thing. We don't really need to worry about that, word, that title because we use minor for that, yeah. okay? But we've got five other chords that could be home, mm -hmm. really only four. The seventh chord, the diminished chord can't be, okay? Because, um, so a lot of times that's considered a hypothetical or theor theoretical mode, the mode that has step seven as, as one, because chord seven is a diminished chord. And a diminished chord is not a chord you can come back to and, and land on and call it finished, because yeah. it's too dissonant. So a diminished chord has to go someplace. So it can't be a landing point. A landing point has to be a major or minor chord, or a major seven, minor seven, you know, uh, anyway, a more final thing. And a diminished chord doesn't fall in there. So for practical purposes, we have six modes and each one uses one of the first six six steps of the scale yeah. as the tonic okay okay 
So, and if it's step one, we just call it major. If it's step six, we call it minor. Yeah. So if we were in D, what, what's the relative minor key of D? Um, the relative minor D would be B. Good. And so, so we could be using these same chords. A great example here would be comfortably numb. Okay. Keeps coming back to B minor. Okay. Keeps coming back to B minor. And, and so it's in the key of B minor. Now, it does kind of change key because B minor is feeling like home there. But all of a sudden it goes... Technically, it's changed keys to D major now, because this is now not revolving around the B minor anymore. And it's using 1 and 5 in D. A lot of times people say, well, aren't the key of D and B minor the same? They're, they have the same key signature, but it's where is home? Where's the tonic? And in this case, the tonic changed from B minor in the one section to D in the second section. But it's not a key signature change. Like, we didn't change what sharps or flats we're playing. Mm. Okay, but we just, but it's a, it's an emphasis change. The tonic changed. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, in the next part of that song, the same thing happens. Now we have... This is a whole key change and tonic change, because now we're using C. Now we're in the key of C, and C has become 1. Okay. So, um, so it hasn't changed modes in this case, because it, it's still a major key, right? Yeah. But it has changed home again, it's gone to, it's gone, so now we have a different key signature. It's gone to a straight different key signature. Yeah. Got all that so far? Yeah. Okay, good. Because this is all going to build up to what the heck that F sharp chord is doing in here. Okay, okay. so hang with me. Okay. <laughs> okay.